Hello, boys and girls, my name is Otto T, and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon Episode 2. This time, we are trying to get out of uh, this uh, garage, and uh, to do that, I think we need to have uh, 1 million cash, so um, we are halfway there. And to start off, we will create a flight simulator 80. Because we are somewhere in the 80s. Uh, of course, it's a, a graphical game. And then let's get into it. Uh, Engine, yeah, uh, planes need an engine, but the story is probably not that important. Gameplay, uh, also. And you might have noticed the DeLorean here in the garage. Um, the avid watcher might even figure out uh, it has. Uh, has this extension here, so that means it's from back to the future, and it was already in the future. So, question is, uh, why would you own a time traveling machine and do uh, game development out of your uh, own garage if it isn't for the pure fun of it? You can leave your suggestions down in the comment and we will see what we get for this first game of the second episode. At first some platform news. Okay, the Mars we is that. Let's finish that game. Uh, one box sneaked in. And I don't think that's too much trouble. We will release the game. We will do some research. We have 70 research points. Um, Let's do better user experience. Then let's have a look at the game review. Should not be too bad. Solid 8. Another 8. Is it another 8? No, it's a 9! And... A 7. So overall... It averages out at uh, 8, which should get us quite a decent income, so that we can do a bit more. We also need a new topic, uh, something we have not yet done. Alien looks like a promising one. We also can do casual games and we will just research that. We'll do a bit more research before the next game. Uh, and the uh, target audience. With that, we can choose if we want to have games for everyone, for uh, a younger audience, or for a more mature audience. Okay, the Master V by Wiener has been released, and uh, let's also uh, look at the, uh, the report here. Figure some things out. Ok, 
Okay. Airplane simulation, great combination, big surprise there. Engine, quite important, as I told you. PC, everyone, okay, that's that's a good. And airplane every is topic for everyone. So, then oh, let's do a new game. Um, what topic shall we pick? And here now, you can also see uh, the uh, uh, the the target audience. I think last time we did a Wild West and a Vampire. Let's do an Alien. I feel that's something for everyone. Uh, before picking. Uh, yeah, let's pick a genre first. I'm I'm thinking about action or uh, uh, adventure. Action would be more like a, a shooter game, and adventure more like uh, a survival game. So. Um, how shall we call it? Abducted. And the goal is uh, to get back. So, hmm, the G64 uh, is quite good for adventures, so let's take that one. Do another graphical game. And then let's get started. Okay, engine does not seem that important, which probably means story and quest is, as gameplay is also not that important. Hmm. Adventure, I don't think artificial intelligence is important. It's it's more uh, level design and the dialogues. The dialogues probably not so much. It's level design. Just my feeling. Okay, but world design, pretty sure that's important. I would assume graphic is as well, and uh, let's leave the sound here in the in the middle. Okay, let's work those bugs out, and then we can finish that one. Not really exciting here, uh, uh, design or uh, technology wise, but we did level up in some areas. Got new research options, and let's create our first game engine. We call it the uh, SGE, short for Sahet's Game Engine, named after our company. We will have 2D graphics, of course, linear storytelling, um, safe game capa capabilities, and better user experience. It will cost us uh, uh, 120k. And let's create. And hopefully, uh, this game did not too bad, so uh, we make a bit of money. Um, it's not great, but it's also uh, not the worst. Okay. Hopefully, yeah, uh, we can uh, uh, garner some some uh, ideas for future projects out of that one. 
Okay, yeah. Magazines. And now we can do marketing. Sounds like an expensive hobby doing marketing. Okay, our game engine is complete. Um, then let's get to that game report. Okay, the uh, G64 is losing uh, on the market to the uh, PC. But overall uh, consoles still seem to, uh, to dominate. Okay, let's look at that report. Alien and an adventure, okay combination. So not great. Maybe action would have been the better choice there. Volt design very important. Um, G64 everyone is good. Aliens everyone great combination. So at least here, I I was right. Then uh, I think we did not research a new topic. So let's go with something we all already did. Sport. Um, let's make it another simulation because we know that's a great combo. Um, will be for everyone and this time we will do a uh, winter olympics 80 uh, because last time we did the summer olympics we will use our own game uh, game engine and Don't have a license here. Don't allow I have a license for the Master Wii, so let's do it for the PC. Because we also know PC is good for simulation game. So while we don't have the reach of the of the consoles, uh, it should be good uh, uh, for a, a system setup uh, so we know uh, this can be handled. And now with our own game engine we have some additional options. And seeing that the story is probably not that important engine is, so let's do a, a save game and um, better user experience. Okay, one million cash and then we can move to the next level. Um, simulation, usually artificial intelligence, not so much dialogues. And on this stage we do not yet have anything to choose for our game engine. Um, sound seems somewhat important, I would imagine uh, graphic as well. And let's go with these two options. Ooh, the game link from uh, Nivento. Sounds like an interesting concept. Okay, let's get this uh, this game out there. Okay, new records there. Also did level up a bit. Let's release the game. Uh, we need to do some research into a new topic. Uh, let's do school.
Ooh, that's looking good. A 10. I don't think we had a 10 yet. And another 10. And a an third 10. And yeah, at this early stage, if you get three tens, the force is usually a nine. But that's that's great because that should carry us a long way. Maybe even above the one million mark. Yeah, almost there. So it paid off. Um, we need uh, 150k to move, so let's not do that yet. I want to have a bit more research done and then uh, maybe also another game. Um, a lot of the research we are doing here is basically... Um, for the next game engine so uh, let's pick the, the things that I think are uh, uh, are the best for us and then we also want that uh, game report so we can uh, figure out why our game is doing so well. That's always good to know these kind of things, right? So you can repeat the same thing all over again. Okay, story quest, not very important. And a uh, good audience match. Right. Then let's do a new game. Um, I want, yes, I want to do a game for the gameling, and it will be a school game. It will be for a young audience. So this is a bit of an experience. And it will be a casual game. So, all things we have not yet um, considered so far, or done so far, so... And we name it Day at the School. My thinking here is that uh, all the school boys and girls who sit in school every day want to play a game that's basically the same thing as their everyday life. So, uh, gameplay. I think gameplay is, is important here. Uh, engine, not so much. And I think for casual games, probably a, a handheld um, is a good thing. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here with the uh, levels, but uh, let's just play uh, a bit uh, with, with gut feelings. And hope it comes out all right. Okay, some bugs still to be fixed. Okay, then let's finish this experiment. Okay. Yep. I didn't know yet how it how well it did, but let's move now. Welcome to the new office. 
uh, it's way bigger and now we can also uh, hire additional people and looks like uh, it did not stink but um, it's it's a mediocre game but hopefully we can learn something Uh, yeah, now it works a bit differently. You have to uh, click on the character for certain actions. So let's do that game report. School and casual, okay combination. Level design, okay. Audience match, young and gamely. Great. So um, oh, let's let's do some more research here. Probably want a new topic. Dance sounds good. Okay. Ooh. Wiener has follows up with uh, with a hand handheld concurrent concurrent concurrence for the uh, the gaming and it's called Wiener Gear. Okay, then not so bad our game. Uh, do some more research. And, okay, proposition. Uh, let's decrypt the message. We can borrow some information. That means basically we get an advanced topic. And okay, I'm I'm fine with this. Ooh, movies. Can now do movie games. Um let's finish this research. And you see we can now also do um to um, trainings here um, to improve our uh, uh, skills um, and we probably also should do a uh, staff management so we can uh, hire people so let's get that on the way And um, let's do, yeah, let's have a look at that, that marketing. Sooner or later, we need to do that anyway. And before we start a new game, I think I will uh, end it here. And next time we will probably hire some more hats to make even better games so uh, thank you for watching hope you enjoyed it and I will see you soon with the next one goodbye <laughs>